Welcome to Traders Academy Online Courses. This is Lesson 7 in the Trading Using R online course authored by Quantinsty. In this video, you will learn how to construct different types of orders and how to place or cancel orders in TWS. At the end of the video, you will be asked to take a short quiz to test your understanding. This function is used to obtain the next valid order ID for use with TWS. The function takes a valid TWS connection object as its argument. The function returns a character representation of the next numeric ID. This function creates a TWS order object which is used in the place order API call. The function takes arguments like the order ID, action, the total quantity, order type, limit price, transmit, trail stop price, etc. These functions are used to place or cancel an order to TWS. The functions take arguments like the TWS connection object, contract, order, and order ID. Let us now see how all these order functions are used. First, on lines 9 and 10, we check account details using the rec account updates and TWS portfolio value functions. The TWS portfolio value function extracts commonly used fields from all positions held into a data frame. On line 13, we define a contract using TWS stock function. On line 16, we use the require IDs function to obtain the next valid ID. On line 20, we set the order parameters using the TWS order function. We will construct a market buy order for 100 shares of this stock. On line 23, we place the order using the place order function. We can see a pop-up at the bottom right corner, which indicates a successful fill for the order. The same can be seen in Trader Workstation orders windows. On lines 26 and 27, we check the account details again. As can be seen, the account is now updated with the latest buy positions. Now, let us place a sell stop limit order. This order protects a long position by triggering a limit sell order if the stop loss trigger is hit. On line 30, we run the require ID function again to obtain the next valid ID. On line 34, we set the sell stop loss limit order parameters. On line 37, we place the sell stop loss limit order using the place order function. We can see that the order has been successfully placed in the Trader Workstation orders window. Let us now see how to cancel an order using the cancel order function. We will cancel the sell stop limit order placed previously. On line 41, we construct the cancel order function using the TWS connection object and the order ID that was used to place the stop limit order. Upon execution, we can see that the order has been successfully cancelled in Trader Workstation order window. This example demonstrated how to use the various order functions. You can place different types of orders using these functions. This concludes the seventh lesson in the Trading Using R online course. In this video, we covered how to construct different types of orders using a unique order ID. We also saw how to place or cancel the orders in TWS. When you continue, we will give you a short quiz to test your understanding of the topics we covered in this lesson.